excited. Um, what we're going to do today? Where did I put my samples? Where did I go? What did I do with my samples? Oh well. I, I don't know. I just literally just put them down somewhere and I can't find them. I don't I don't know. Um never mind. Let, let's get let's get rolling. I'll I'll find them just in a minute. So um today we're gonna be decorating some hair grips. We have done these ones in the past. I just I love these ones because you can make your own like color variations. There is 14 different colors of hair slides I got here. Now these ones are already half done because the ribbon has already been glued to the hair slide itself. So all you're going to need to do is just to stitch your beads to the top of it. And um, a really easy technique. Now Christopher a couple of years ago, she he made um, a couple for her teacher. Her teacher had uh, long hair at the time and, and she really loved it. So this is a perfect gift for you know as the end of the year is coming for teachers to make something personal but in the summer as well to entertain entertain the children um as well because um you know, they all like to get involved and this is such a very very easy technique so i haven't put a bundle together with beads and the hair clips on the website because like let's face it we got so much beads at um home already so you don't like you know I, I think minimal materials what you need for one hair clip is minimal materials so you or i'm sure you got something in your stash what you can find and if not there is, there is plenty on the website but i just wanted you have the hair clips so there's a couple of bundles on there and bundle um there's two different colorways um as such in there so i am gonna very quickly pop you to the website and then show it to you and then we're going to come back down and then we are going to um, go down and I'll show you how to decorate them so just popping over to the website there we go so by now you know the drill totallybeads.co.uk and um you're gonna I'm just gonna pop back to the main page so you land on this page and you're then gonna go in here and press on video tutorials here or you're going to come to the side and press on this button here and get to a video tutorial page now here you have all sorts of different um tutorials going back over years so like over 300 tutorials are loads of them um, i'm going to go into today's one and um you have got um, a couple of bundles there. So this one is called number one and this guy is called number two. I'm going to show you down on the mat just in a sec what do they look like. So they're $4.99. There is 14 pieces in there. So that's, um, I don't know, can somebody do the math? <laughs> because I'm too, like, first thing in the morning, especially I'm not very good with maths, but um, it less, much less than 50p. Um, Lucy or somebody, can you divide $4.99 by 14 So like you know they're really cheap pennies really so i'm coming back to me and i am gonna go straight down and show you this beautiful there we go so that is i'm just gonna zoom in a tiny bit more this is bundle number one so you got your browns you have got your teals you got your navies and blues and a pink and this is bundle number two which has got more aquas you got gray and black in here you got your purples and you got like a stronger pink in there so depending on what color you want to do then you can make um oh camille is saying 35 pence thank you camille oh you know saying 15 peach i'm not sure um i think he's 35 pence it sounds about right i think yeah <laughs> um is this just me or i'm getting subtitles yeah you can turn the subtitles off um jane i've like with the three dots at the top if you uh, click on there then um you can turn that off right i'm very quickly just gonna say hello to you morning gwen robin isla lisa lucy Patricia, Mina, Anne, Edward, Jen, Chitty, Christine, Debbie, Rachel says it's overcast, but okay, inside your share. It's very much overcast and looks like really cold out there. So <laughs> definitely a day you're staying in and beading. Uh, morning, Sue. Lucy popped the link up for us. That's for today's um, Facebook. 
Good morning, Bethan, Jane, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte is saying she's back in Hawaii. So aloha, <laughs> Charlotte, back in Hawaii. Oh, uh, uh, but how is the weather in Hawaii? Do let us know because I'm going to be properly super jealous because it's really cold and rainy and, and windy here. And you've probably got beautiful sunshine and really warm and hot weather, which like we could, all could do with some. So like if you have got beautiful sunshine, really like hot weather, please FedEx some over, just put, put some in a box and send some to us. <laughs> that would be great. Morning, Tina, Ruth, Pamela, Geraldine from a Caladian dump, Dublin. Well, Geraldine, the weather is same here as well. Morning, um, Camille, Jean, Sue, Sharon. Right, okay, Charlotte, say it's raining on and off. Yeah, but I bet it's hot though. It's, it must be warm, <laughs> even if it's raining on and off. It must be nice and warm there. Like, let's just, let just, I don't know. Hawaii, I always think like you got like t shirt and um, swing swimsuit weather. I have to look into it. Right, okay, so let's get decorating. I don't know where I put my samples. I'll find a minute, but it's such an easy technique. You, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start the demo and see. So on the top of these, let me just check over there. I'm sure Simon brought them home yesterday because they were all at the warehouse. But where did I put them down? No, I might, I might have left them in the kitchen. I'm, not, I'm not gonna go and rummage because what happened? I don't know. We're gonna decorate them. A very easy technique. There is only really one technique to it. What you're gonna do? You're just gonna have. You can add different beads to it. So what I'm gonna be doing, um, I love adding seed beads on the top. Size 11 seed beads looks a bit neater. Do let me know what color do you want me to demo, and then I'm gonna demo with that color. So we got pinks, we got blues, we got teals, we got browns, um, we got greys and blacks, we got loads of different colors. So do let me know which one, which one do you fancy me to demo with, which one you can see the best. And I grab some beads and then we can add things on top of it. So you could add seed, seed beads, you could add crystal beads, you could add round beads, all sorts of different shapes of beads. You could even add your gem duos. Um, they would look really nice on the top as well. Um, sewn on gem duos probably would have to like I would want to sit them in a different direction. I grab a couple of them and then and I can show that one as well. I can show that one as well to you. So um, pink, please. Pale color beads. Jenny saying pink. So how about this pale pink at the top? Good morning, chef. Light purple. So you think I have missed a few days to family commitment by catching up to do. Oh bless you. You can always you can always watch it back. Love that mint green. That I love this color as well. This minty green color. Pink, Debbie's saying pink as well. Oh, thank you so much for the star, Sheila. I really appreciate it. Green looks great as well. Um, Sheila's saying, morning kitty and fellow beaders have only had about an hour sleep. Pharmacy didn't have my tablet, so I couldn't sleep. The rest of Slack syndrome, oh, so tired. Oh, Sheila, I'm, I'm there with you. Sometimes I do get like a restless legs as well. And it's just horrible. It's just, it just can't go away. It's just there all the time. So, um, Lonely saying 70 be a pair. That's absolutely right. right. Let me just move a couple of bits around here. And we're gonna get started with the demo. There we go. I'm just pinging the comments up here as well. Oh, Janice, thank you so much for the stars as well. Really, really appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the light pink. We actually we probably do a couple of them because they're quite quick to do. And we have got, um, okay, just Chef is saying, okay, to just close your eyes and pick one. I'm gonna take this out to the side. And we're going to do something with this pink and then we do something else with this mint color, okay? Because they are really quick to do. So I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques. So with that pink, how about, I'm going to get these bugles out. Those bugles would go really nice with it. And I have got actually the same color as the bugle. I have got that in seed beads as well. 
So we're just going to use bugle beads, 3 millimeter bugle beads and the size 11 seed beads. I'm going to grab a thread. Now I always like to match the color of my seed beads or the color of the uh, ribbon so you don't, so kind of the thread is just going to disappear. I think that is a better match than this one between the whole of those colors. And I'm just going to thread this up. Move this out of the way and we're gonna get started. So really quick technique, very easy. I'm just gonna we're gonna do one. Um you're just gonna be stitching backwards and forwards. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Morning, morning, Pamela, morning, um, Marie. I'm gonna zoom in just a sec. Let me just thread my needle. You know, threading needle, how easy is to thread a needle, and then when you have to do it live on air and, and talk at the same time. It's usually, but it's going through. Come on, needle. I think it doesn't help. I just added some oil, some cuticle oil on my nails. Right, let's trim the end. Sometimes you just need to trim the end of the... See, I could pre-thread my needle, but then I didn't... <laughs> it would have be a set color. So because you're choosing the color, I have to thread. I'm going to get another needle. This one will do. There we go. I think when you use a needle for some time, the eye can sort of shut in a little bit. And then I'm going to cut this off because you're not going to need this bobbin on. Right. Okay. Zooming in. There we go. Move this up a little bit. Actually, move that down just like that. There we go. So I'm going to just make a little knot at the end of my thread here. Just a little knot. I'm going to trim this slightly so I haven't got a very long tail. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through. So the ribbon has been already glued onto our hair clip here. And what we're going to be, we're going to be stitching backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards on this ribbon. So I'm going to go in right at the bottom edge and I'm just going to come from underneath towards the top and I'm going to pull this through. And now I am, there is two ways like we can do it. So, well, actually many ways you can do it, how you want to stitch your beads. And, but I like to stitch across, stitch down, come back up and stick, stitch backwards. So I really only need to fill sort of a millimeter in from either side of the ribbon there. So I'm just going to grab a bugle, a seed, a bugle, and I'm going to try it on the top of my hair clip there and that's probably the the perfect size now i could equally try a seed bead bugle seed bead and when i put this on can you see that's just a little bit too small so it either needs a couple of seed beads extra on either side or going with the pattern so we want to cover i'm gonna zoom in a little bit more we want to cover as much as we can of this section so I picked up a bugle, seed bead bugle, and as I'm coming out of here, I'm going to jump straight to the other side, um, going from top towards the bottom, and I'm just going to pull this up, and our little bead work is just going to sit on the top there. Then I'm going to come along, and I'm going to come up, just like that. So I'm coming from bottom to the top, but I'm just nibbing the end of that ribbon. Pull this through. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bugle, seed bead bugle. And I'm going to come to this side, again, nibbing that edge. And pulling this through. So this is probably about a couple of millimeters up from the first one. And I'm very quickly going to go up and down and adding all of these beautiful beads onto the top. Now you don't just, you, I could have added a little crystal instead of the seed bead in there. That would have looked, made it really sparkly and looked, would have looked really beautiful as well. Or equally, I could have added a small pearl bead. The possibility was endless. 
and you can jazz them up, you can blink them up. And it's so nice to have something like I, I'm not really like I haven't got time to do that like big um, hairdos and, and like, you know, just to sit in front of the mirror for an hour and and do all sorts of different um, hairstyles. So for me, having something like this is really handy because like if you even if you like now we allowed to go out and we, we're starting to sort of go out you just need a couple of these to put in your hair right at the back and you got something pretty your hair becomes um very elegant as well or did you think i like your scissors yeah i don't know where is this 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 girl from um i had it for probably got it one of the stitches um show i had it for a very long time but I need to have scissors like that because <laughs> if I just have like a generic pink or blue one or, or black one, when it disappears, then um, I um, I can, I, I know, like, I, I, can't, I don't know where is it gone. But if that disappears and Christopher starts to use this for something, I, I know that this is my scissors. <laughs> Right, so you go all gonna go all the way up, just adding those beads just like that. So that could be one sort of decoration. Now let me grab. I'm just gonna grab some um, super jewels or some other beads as well, so I can show you how to add those on. So we're not super jewels. I meant gem jewels, and the color. If I'm gonna put something with that minty green. Oh, there is so much nice one to do this one. Let's try this one. That will look nice. So if I want to add something with that minty green. And then I'll show you some larger beads as well. So I think we all, all sort of get the We just like stitching backwards and forwards, adding the seed beads and the bugle beads on. Now, if you have got a two-hole bead and you want to add that one on, um, depending on how you want to add this on, if you want to add it sitting this way, just like that, then I am going to be picking up, adding and doing the stitching the same way as we did just now. And you're going to have gem duos sitting all the way on the top. Look, this sliding down. Let's move this up. Um, I could add a seed beads or I could equally add a crystal bead to either side of those and that would look really beautiful as well you probably need about maybe six seven pieces of gem duos uh, per hair clip now if i turn it i could add it this way as well and if i add it this way i probably would go up and stitch on one side and then come back and stitch on the other side so let's have a look at this one because by, by doing it this will be slightly different right thread maybe a lighter one and then I will go and show you how to add maybe four millimeter beads as well. So let's have, let's get, grab some seed beads as well to go with it. I think that will be nice. Or why not? Have I got anything? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to grab. I'm going to grab like a gold one or something to make it stand out. But I think gold seed beads will make it stand out nicely. Right. Okay. So I'm going to move these pinks out of the way. And then. Gem deals looks like green lips. Absolutely. So what shall we do? Shall we do gold with it or shall we do a turquoise color with it which one do you think will look nicer while i'm threading my needle do let me know in the comments i'm just going to Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut the bobbin off and make a little knot right at the bottom. Gold will stand out. Angela is saying. Would look great as a flower on it. Yeah, absolutely. You could add them all together. You could make a flower up 
with the gem duos by stitching about six of them together and then you could stitch that right at the base so i'm gonna use this gold one and pop some out just like that so I, once again i'm gonna go through the bottom and i'm just gonna stitch this right onto there now you can tackle it and go through maybe like once or twice just sort of you you stitching through the ribbon so you're not right next to your knot that just relieves the stress from the knot i guess you could do that one as well now how do we want this to sit do we want to sit this way or do we want to sit this way so let's let's put one sitting this way and then we can come back and make another one sit or the other way as well so if i wanted to sit those gem toes that way i would probably pick up quite similarly very like what we did before a number of beads which will which would fit my ribbon sideways which probably would be two seed beads a gem duo and another two seed beads just that it just goes from side to side and then i would come ahead onto the other side and just stitch through now you wouldn't just like if you wanted to you could do like a little loop going that way but if you just wanted to go through the bottom, then you would have to skip from here all the way up until properly about here. So beforehand, we were just skipping a couple of millimeters. Now I'm skipping almost the whole width of that bead. And I'm going to pick up two seed beads, go through the other hole on the gem duo. And then add another two here. So we could add loads of different shapes on this way as well. And I'm stitching down. Right now, if you wanted to add the gem duo sitting this way, which is actually quite would be quite nice because it is making all the making the whole width of the bracelet. The bracelet? I need a sip of my coffee. <laughs> I'm talking about bracelets now. I got the gem duo bracelets out just there because I'm going to make a video of it. Right, so I'm going to pick up one seed bead. I'm going to go through the gem duo. Now, you do have to be careful when you're doing this one that picking up the gem duo the right way. So you got the front of it towards the top. And then I'm going to stitch down. I picked up another seed bead and I'm going to stitch down. So this way, I'm going to have to stitch it on all the way on one side then I'm going to come back down on the other side and secure it on the other side so let me just grab another couple of gem doers so I can show you what I mean so again as I stitch down just there I'm going to come up just maybe a couple of millimeter just a like a, a half a size 11 bead width I'm going to pick up one size 11, I'm going to pick up the gem duo and I'm going to pick up another size 11 and I'm going to stitch down a little bit further up. So can you see this one is going to sit here and then so on, we're going to go on and stitch all these beads on. So whatever beads you have got in your stash, do you can just play with it and add them to the top, really jazz your hair clips up and then they're going to become unique as well now i'm going to stitch this on now imagine we got all the way down to the end and i'm going to just come to the other side it doesn't really matter I'm probably um, i'm going to have to cut this off anyway so imagine we go all the way down to the end and then we're going to come back on ourselves so i'm going to come through the lip again here on the other side i would at the end i would just stitch through it so where you where, at the end i would just stitch through it where you can't see it Could you tell how big are the clips? I'll, I'll get my ruler out in a minute, a second, and just put it next to it. And I'm going to pick up one seed bead, go through the hole on this side, pick up another seed bead, 
and then go down and then I would come back up pick up another seed bead and go into the next gem duo pick up another one and sort of sew all the way down once you came back down you can always go back up on yourself and add more seed beads add more decoration and just because you got one layer that doesn't mean you can't go back with another layer so i would probably add a row of seed beads in between as well just to really make my gem new gem just stands out but it depends on as well how much gap you have or it's like bead embroidery really you are doing all sorts of different stitches but different directions but you are your medium is the top of your hair crib so if i came up here i'm just gonna jump here or maybe just stay here i would go through that one seed bead which is there I would probably pick up another three to fill that gap so I could go back on myself and add more rows of seed beads in between. Then I'm going to come back through this. Now here I'm going to add three and then go all the way to the other side. But because I have two seed beads, I have got two seed beads here. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to go through the other seed bead. I'm going to come through the three seed beads in the middle, which I just added. And go through the next seed bead on the other side, just here. And stitching down straight away. there we go and then i have got the seed beads in between but they connected to both of the size 11s just there so you could you could really fill it up as much as you want and you could do all sorts of different things what color is the gem there so this one is metallic sued light green and the color number is 790551mjt that's the one I'm sewing on the, on the top of here. But like, you know, the whole thing is like, you can just have a few, you can have a few leftover beads in your stash. Now, so they are six centimeter long, or they are just over like almost two and a half inch long. Now I'm gonna grab some four millimeter beads and then I'm going to show you, like, you could do some crossovers, like, <laughs> notes and crosses on there. But, like, you know, in hematite beads, we have got some beads which are more flat. We do have um, loads of anything you can sew on there, really. Miracle beads will do well as well. Larger seed beads. I'm just going to grab some small crystals. And let's grab some pearls as well. So I just grabbed some pearls and crystals. And there we go. So with crystals, if you want to make it really, really sparkly, I would just stitch the crystals on the top, just like that. Probably maybe three crystals on there if i had size 15s in similar colors i might add a size 15 to the side but not unnecessarily um pearls as well again i would probably sit a couple of those on there they would look really really cool as well you could do all sorts of different directions so you don't just have to sit your whatever you're sitting these are a little bit large larger crystals you don't have just have to sit them on a straight line you can sit them on an angle and when you sit them on an angle, you can turn them into like little crosses itself on the top. There is so much you could do. Could you could glue as well if you don't want to sew? You could, but the glue might fall off. Um, I haven't tried to glue it. I, I always stitch them on the top. 
have you taken the thread over both prongs of the hair clip when you have changed the sides? So when when I, when you need to change the sides, um, what I would do, so it would be when you change sides, you go all the way down at the top and it would be here somewhere. So I'm just going to stitch stitch into here and just let's just imagine we got some beads on the top there. So I'm just going to add five beads here and this is this is these are last beads and I need to from here I can need to go over to the other side so there is two ways you can do this you can either just go back through these five seed beads and then stitch down and you straight away you are on the other side or what you can do if you are somewhere in the middle and then you you want to get to the other side I would go under so I would take my needle right under the ribbon just pushing it right down can you see it's going to come up there just a bit pushing it all the way under the ribbon and then pulling it through so that's the two ways you can get from one side to the other side with your stitching now like when i went on the back i just wrapped it over <laughs> But to show you to get to the other back, but I should have stitched. But I'm going to take these off so it doesn't really matter. Just it's kind of like showing you how to add different bits of pieces on the top. So there is so much you can do with the crystals and there is so much you can do with pearls. You can like stitch any beads on there what you have. Okay, let me know in the chat if you have done these ones before. If you've done any, uh, any variations, which one was your favorite. And there we go. I love I love adding bugle beads on there because I think bugle beads are so underused and they're just stitching them up all the way to the top. These are samples I will cut it off. Yeah, absolutely. I probably won't cut the pink off. I will finish the pink up because that looks quite nice. But um, I will cut the other one off and um, just have a little play with it. But if whatever you stitch on the top, if you don't like, just cut it off and then you can start again. If you use wire, could you add wire to it and make decoration out of some? So if I made like a little flower out of wire, I would make the flower first and then... I would secure it to the this this um, ribbon itself, or wrap it all the way around if like it's a bigger flower as well to really secure it on there. I want you to think she did it on the USB. Yeah, I think it was in USB number two. We did it. Oh, Betty's well, saying thanks, Kitty. I realized when I pressed send that no, don't worry. There is no silly comments here, Bet Betty, as at all. There is no silly comments. I mean, you should see me. I ask, I ask questions when I'm really like Simon just have to look at me, and I was like, yeah, okay, I know. I answered my own own uh, own question. That um, like you know, I think it's just being a curious mind. And um, yeah, so there's there's no silly questions at all. So there's so many different things you can do with this. And um, there's nothing really more what I can show you with this one. Um, because it's so, so easy. You're just stitching your beads onto the top. And I'm going to do a post later on. And I put a picture up with all the made up samples, which I don't know. I honestly don't know what I done with it. <laughs> Maybe it's in the kitchen, but I'm not, I'm not going to go and rummage now. So, so you can all see all the different things, what we did with it. But I really do love it. And, you know, 35p each, it's, you know, a, a very nice little present as well for children, grandchildren, nieces, nephews, neighbors. And you can really dress up your, oh, I forgot to come back, really dress up your wardrobe, dress up your hair with it and if you like me do you have a good time to do i mean i love it i really love it and my little lucy she she does like this amazing hair bonds and all sorts of different bits of pieces and, and she's like really into her hair she's got very long beautiful hair she would sit in front of the mirror for at least like she could sit there for like an hour just doing her hair like i haven't got time for that <laughs> so i i got maybe two minutes to brush it quickly and put something in there and 
they're perfect. These hair clips are perfect for this because they just give you the extra little sparkle in your hair. I forgot to come up again. And there we go. I never, I have never made these before because my hair is really short, so you think you could make it to somebody else as well. Don't forget. They're just really little fun things to do and they don't take too long to fill the top up. So I'm just going to go and stitch all the these on. Now equally I didn't have to add the seed beads in the middle. I could have just done it without it. But I just love how the bugle beads sit on the top. Bugle beads are so underused. And stitching to the other side. There we go. And then coming back up. And stitching down. And coming back up. And just all the way down. Really, really easy. And as I said, Christopher did this as a thank you teacher present for a teacher a couple of years ago, which went down as a treat. She really loved it. Very easy technique. Right, if you got a question, please put a queue in front of your question and just drop it in the chat so I can answer it for you. Before I go, um, Kristen, um, Kieran is saying I have made something similar but with crystals, absolutely. Bicon beads do look really nice on the top because they just sit the right way. I made some of these when my hair grows back after chemo. Oh, Rachel, bless you. But you ca you don't just have to like their hair grips, but you can use them for so many other things because like you can use it on a scarf as well to, ho to hold the scarf in place. Like if I had a scarf and I could just put that on there and hold it in place. So you can use it for much more than just a hair clip like I made Christopher these they they are earrings really <laughs> but we made like a, a Captain America style one because he's so into his Marvel heroes and he loves it so we made I made it on a little earring finding and then he can just pin it onto his um shirt and wearing his wearing it like a little badge so with this one as well you could just Use it for other bits as well. They are really strong. These hair, hair grips are really strong. So when I was choosing them, I had to make sure we got some strong ones because I can't, like my hair, I got, my hair is quite thin, but I have got a lot of hair. So I do need strong hair grips to be able to, I'm going to turn it around. I'm almost at the end actually. So I'm going to finish this one for you live. And just using a few bugle beads and seed beads here. So whatever you have in your stash, this is the perfect use it up with. We got a couple of colorways on the website. They are down to $4.99 from £8.40. So they work out as 35p each. And even if you were like, you know, I know like soon we will be able to to like a sell like like go to little craft fairs and do loads of different bits of pieces hopefully fingers crossed then this is something what like the material costs you like 35p the the hair grip itself you're going to use leftover beads on there and then you can ask like you know two three four pounds for it so they are really great um and they don't take too long to make either Oh, Mina is saying this might be popular school fairs. Absolutely. And probably 10, 15 minutes you can make one up. I'm almost at the top. And then I always, I would make them in pairs because I like to have them in pairs. 
like whatever like hair clips if i buy hair clips i always i i myself like to buy them in pairs but some people only use one uniform colors absolutely so then the first ever time we did these um a few years ago that was <laughs> like schools actually like um not not allowing not allow allowing I need a sip of my coffee, allowing you to wear any jewelry or your children to wear any jewelry. Or to wear like, you know, watches are allowed, but apart from that, nothing else. So when Lucy was smaller, she used to have these hair grips and like they all, the girls had all sorts of nice hair grips and hair slides. And, and that's how I guess younger children can accessorize themselves for school because they had to wear hair grips and hair slides so absolutely you could do it in uniform colors right i'm right at the top now i'm not gonna put like i'm just gonna leave a little gap at the top because when you're pushing down you're always pushing down on that part and if i had a bugle bead there then i would be pushing down on a bugle bead as well so i kind of like to leave just a tiny bit of gap at the top and then i'm just gonna sew this off oops and got coat on these beads i'm gonna sew this off i'm gonna come back i'm gonna stitch to that side of the ribbon one more time and when i'm pulling this through i got this little loop forming i'm gonna go through this loop just before and pull it all the way tight i'm gonna come to the other side on this last bead and do another one thread knot on this side as well hold on there we go and before it disappears i'm going to go through that loop and form another knot on this side as well then once more i'm going to jump to the other side and then I, i'm ready to cut oh wait my scissors is gone ready to cut my thread off and that's it you have got a beautiful little hair slide uh hair and decorated socks one little oh bless posh pants for going out just easy ones to casual wear absolutely but you could do all sorts of different things so i'm just gonna grab this one i'm not gonna start this one off now but i could like put the crystals all the way up on the top on these and it will look it would look beautiful i'm just gonna fold this over so when i'm trying to check something for color i usually just fold the crystals over i will pop it on the top of it and just sort of gives you an overlook how would it look when you stitched it on there but those crystals would look beautiful on the top on that one as well well my lovelies that is for me today and i'll be back on friday and i'm going to show you what we're going to do on friday do tune in because we are there we, go. we are launching some new kits on Friday and I really do love this stitch it's really really beautiful we're gonna working with check bar beads and seed beads and I'm creating this very lovely chevron pattern uh, as well so it's gonna be beautiful grows relatively quite quickly it's a little bit wider bracelet um more like a ribbon style but i really do love it so do tune in on friday or for this one otherwise have a lovely couple of days we will be in the beat club tomorrow and on friday as well if you are interested do check beat club out that's beatclub.co.uk and i will see you friday at 10 a.m have a lovely couple of days. See you later.